The U.S. Army is on track to have its worst recruiting year since Vietnam, a shortfall that could have implications for decades. Right now, the Army has only reached about 52 percent of its recruiting goal for the current fiscal year, which ends later this month. Other military branches are closer to their targets, although attracting and retaining talent is a challenge across the board. Military leaders say many factors contribute to the shortage, the pandemic, the labor market, even competition from the private sector. The biggest problem, however, is a shrinking recruitment pool. Of the age-eligible population, less than a quarter are even qualified to serve. Colonel Matthew Amidon, director of Veterans and Military Families at the George W. Bush Institute, says all sectors working together are needed to solve this recruitment crisis. This is not just a Department of Defense challenge. This is a Veterans Affairs challenge. This is a community of philanthropy, a nonprofit, and a corporate sector challenge as well. Everybody needs a seat at the table.